Hello, all of my 40-something subscribers and any new subscribers who will see this. I know I haven't made a video in a couple weeks. I've been super busy working, and one of the jobs that I've been doing is working at a bridal store, which honestly was a dream job for me. I'm obsessed with wedding dresses, always have been, and this opportunity was one that I just couldn't pass up. I went looking for it, but they gave me a chance even with no bridal experience, so it's just been kind of a dream come true, even though it's been extremely hard and tiring work. But in the past few months working here, I have learned a lot. I've learned a lot of things about what to do and what not to do when you are a bride shopping for a wedding dress. Now, the place that I work is an off the rack bridal store. So the dress that brides are trying on is the actual dress that they will buy if they buy it with us. So it's a little bit of a different experience than if you go to a traditional bridal store such as Kleinfeld's or someplace like that where they order the dress for you and you have to wait a couple months. But still, my tips about, that I'm about to share with you are I think good for any bride going to look for a dress. At multiple stores, the experience doesn't really change. <laughs> so I'm going to try to be brief, but I have a lot to say on this topic and I'm gonna get right into it. So number one, take a good hard look at your finances, make a budget and stick to it. Brides get in a lot of trouble when they come in and say, well, like I wanna spend around 2000, but I have some wiggle room and if I see the right dress, I'll spend more, but I don't wanna spend that much more. And I'm like, ooh, you're in trouble here because I've had brides come in, you know, with a budget that's lower lower for br bridal so expensive like let's say two or three thousand and i had a girl the other day whose sisters her sisters talked her into trying on a seven thousand dollar dress and she did and fell in love with it and she had to really think about whether she could do this and most people in that situation end up heartbroken and without the dress because they there's just no way they can swing it this girl somehow swung the seven thousand dollars but i guarantee you she is feel in the burn with that. So stick to your budget. Don't try on dresses that are too expensive. Don't let people talk you into a dress that you can't afford. Um, just keep the big picture in mind. Even though it's one of the most important days of your life and the pictures last forever, it's still only one day of your life. So choose accordingly, spend accordingly. So some brides are really easygoing and don't even really care what they wear on their wedding day. They just want it to look nice on them and they have no other qualifications. But it's still helpful for us as bridal consultants or stylists for you to have, to have some idea going into your appointment of what you like or don't like. And that can completely change over the course of the appointment and that's totally fine. But having somewhere to start Art is really really helpful so we're not just picking at random come in with some sort of ideas look at pictures see what you like on models and on other brides and of course like it might not always look good on you once you get them on but having somewhere to start is better than nowhere and it will save you a lot of time that being said do be open-minded, especially if you haven't tried on that many dresses. What looks good on models, what looks good on other people is not always gonna look good on you or what you like in pictures isn't always what you like on yourself. And I know this because I've tried on a few dresses now there and what I like on me is nothing like what I like on other brides or from websites, Pinterest, whatever. So please be open-minded. Don't write something off right off the bat unless you have like a really strong reaction to something or like you are having a super religious wedding and something is like super sheer with cutouts and whatever yes you can say no to that but please keep an open mind because you literally never know what the one is going to look like you didn't know what your husband was going to look like probably your wife whoever you're marrying so same thing with the dress you don't know till it's on you but connected to that, don't be afraid to say no to other people's choices. If you bring an entourage and they're picking something out and you look at it and you're like, oh my God, this dress is disgusting. It's like champagne color and I really want a white dress or look at all those crazy hard sparkles on it and I just think it looks cheap then please don't be afraid to say no. And especially don't be afraid to say no to your consultant's picks because we don't care. We did not design these dresses. 
we did not pick out these dresses most likely for the store so we really don't care we just want you to have the right dress and i'm sure your friends and family do too but uh we are professionals and our job is to make you happy and to make you look the best and on your wedding day and to make you the happiest you can be with how you look on your wedding day so please don't be afraid to say no to something if you have some right off the bat strong objection or if you try it on and you're like i hate this but everyone else is like i love it please just it's your wedding day no i'm kind of going all things that are related to each other but my next one is to not talk yourself into a dress like if you don't like it but everyone else loves it on you and uh, don't talk yourself out of a dress if you love some, the same sort of thing if you love something but no one else in your party likes it or, or don't talk yourself out of a dress a dress that you can afford and a dress that fits you if it well enough if it's off the rack of course every dress needs alterations but yeah um, a lot of brides talk themselves out of dresses especially if it's early in their dress shopping process they want to make it go on and on because it's fun or they think well, I love this dress, it looks perfect on me, it fits everything about what I want, but what else is out there? And yes, of course, what else is out there? There are literally billions of beautiful wedding dresses out there in the world, but there are millions and billions of other men and women for you to partner up with, and you've decided to stop all that and get married, so it's the same thing related to that all i'm gonna say about this is be firm in your opinions and be confident about what you like and what you want and yeah don't be bullied i know it's related to everything else but it needs to be said like you are your own person so related to all of that my next tip is to not bring a lot of people to your appointments i suggest this is what i found works best i mean being alone is kind of the best but if you really want to share it with people i would bring one sort of like motherly figure you know a mom aunt a grandma an older friend and then one sort of like peer figure your sister your friend your closest relative of some sort so having an older wiser presence is good because you know they've seen a million wedding dresses probably maybe they've been married themselves they have that sort of wisdom that comes with age and um they might be able to steer you in a direction that you need to be steered maybe i don't know most people like i said can just be confident in themselves or should be confident in their own judgment you are an adult you're getting married this is a big decision that you made so you can choose a dress but uh yeah the younger perspective might be able to help you by you know the same thing giving a young modern perspective um what's trendy now uh what do you like they'll know you as more of like a friend uh maybe in a more honest way than your mother your aunt your grandmother um in a different way but you know like you'll you might be more confident sharing your deepest darkest opinions with your friend versus your mother um, you might say to your friend, like, hey, I really want to look sexy. Um, so my husband will like just die on my wedding day. And I don't know if you'll say that to your mom. I mean, I would probably, but you know what I'm saying. So keep it, keep your circle really small. Bring people that you trust. Bring people that are going to be nice to you. Don't bring your most judgmental, bitchy friend. <laughs> don't bring a relative that makes you feel bad about yourself. Don't bring anybody there who isn't going to bring absolute joy to the moment. This is off topic of that, but do not feel pressured to purchase a dress from a consultant. Some stylists or consultants are pushy and they wanna make their sales, they wanna make their commission, they wanna look good, like, oh yeah, look how good I am at selling dresses, or they wanna make goals for the month. This is your day. Our lives, our work lives, like have nothing to do with you. Like you are in this for you and i really don't like when consultants are using brides for that way and i know that our livelihoods depend on it a lot of time and that sucks it just sucks it's the way it is but me personally like i would never ever push someone into a dress who wasn't ready for my own financial gain or for my own professional gain and maybe my sales won't be that great because of it but I, you know whatever it's just not right so don't feel pressured to buy from 
stylists or consultants. I'm gonna not say a lot on this, but don't buy a dress with the promise to yourself that you'll lose weight. Because one, you probably don't need to lose weight unless you are, unless you've been told by a doctor that yes, you need to lose weight for your health, you're in danger, sure, go lose weight. But most of the time, people don't. It's just society's messages. Like, so please don't buy into that. You probably won't lose weight. You probably shouldn't lose weight. And if a dress doesn't look good on you, it's the dress. It's not you. It's literally always the dress. I'll repeat that till I die. Similarly, be yourself. Pick a dress that makes you feel like yourself, but elevated, like the most pretty version of you that there is. Don't pick a dress that makes you feel like you're in a costume, that makes you feel self-conscious about your body, that makes you feel weird or uncomfortable in any way. The dress is supposed to be just an extension of you on this happy day. It's about you, it's not about the dress. In, in the end, I know the dress is so important and I of all people, like the dress is probably the most important thing to me about a wedding. But still, like you need to feel like you and that might surprise you. You might feel like you in a dress that you never ever would have picked out online or even thought looked good on the rack, but you put that dress on and you're like, whoa, yeah, okay. Like, this is how I always want to look. Like, this is the best version of me. So keep an open mind, but be yourself. If it is allowed in the place that you work, uh, are searching for a dress, which it is allowed in the place that I work, take pictures of yourself in every dress, especially the ones that you like, so you can see how they look in pictures and so you can go home and kind of evaluate what you liked or what you didn't like about each dress and then if you are going to another appointment, you'll be able to further hone in on what you like and don't like and get closer to the right dress. This one, I hate to break it to you, but you might not have that bridal moment. You might not break out in tears or, you know, laughing, screaming, crying. It just might not happen. Everybody's different. I do see tears every day. I see laughter, I see smiles, and I also see brides who come in and they're like, okay, this is it, I'll take it. Or brides who are like, well, my wedding's in like a couple weeks, I have to make a decision, this is the best of the bunch, let's just do it. Um, so everybody's different, everybody's gonna have a different situation, a different timeline, different budget, different emotions, different ways of displaying their happiness, so. There's a lot of stuff at play, so you just might not have that TV say yes to the dress. I'm saying yes to the dress moment. This might be my most controversial tip, but I would not bring your fiance to the appointment. I know, I'm old fashioned. I'm like, here's why. I've seen a lot of fiances so far in my dress shop because it's New York, we're very liberal and modern and times are changing and men are also wanting to be involved more in weddings, which is cool. I've seen this mostly with men, with heterosexual couples, with a woman bride and a man groom, heterosexual to the, the naked eye. So women who come in with their fiancés, who are men, a lot of times love a dress and he will be like, um, no, I hate that. And the women leave without the dress and they are very sad about it because they had this dress in mind and they wanted their fiance to like have that bridal moment with them. But I know for a fact that if they had not brought him, if they walked down the aisle in the dress that they felt amazing in, that they felt beautiful in, that he would have been at that altar or at the end of that aisle and gone, oh my God, like, wow, she looks amazing. Because presumably your fiance loves you and is going to think that you look beautiful in anything that you feel beautiful in, in anything that you feel confident in. And he's gonna be looking at you really, not the dress. He's gonna be looking at you in the dress. So whatever you walk down the aisle in, I swear he is not going to say anything mean about your dress. And he's not gonna be like, oh, like I hate this dress. Let me run away now. I'm not gonna marry her. They're seeing you in this dress in a store um, as if you're trying on a dress to go to a party. It's not in context. Last but not least, it is your day. So no matter where you are getting married, if it's impossible to be overdressed, pick the dress you like. Don't say, well, I'm having a little wedding and this is a ball gown, but I, this is what I want. Yeah, okay, so get it. Get that dress. Those are my tips for now just to get started with wedding dress shopping. Bonus tip, 
Don't bring champagne. It's a mess.